News at 5. Another hazy day in Colorado as smoke from California wildfires blankets our state. Denver now ranks sixth for worst air quality in the world. I'm McKelly White. Thank you so much for joining us. These hot, smoky days just keep dragging on, and so many of us are dealing with allergy like symptoms or worse. We have team coverage for you tonight on our air quality. Chris Spears is tracking a slight thinning of the smoke before another round hits us. But first, we go to our Michael Abeda. He talked with a doctor from National Jewish hospital today and Michael how can people get some relief well Michaelia when air quality is this bad that means you can't really see anything on the horizon or about five miles away according to our Chris Spears then it's best to stay indoors but if you can't do that and you end up experiencing some uncomfortable symptoms there are a lot of over-the-counter medications that can help you feel better when the smoke rolled in Saturday, the air quality dropped and stayed that way most of the day Sunday. All over the state, doctors and meteorologists warn people to stay in and not perform strenuous activity or risk illness and discomfort. But what if you're feeling symptoms like itching eyes, sneezing, sore throat, or coughing anyway? There's some pretty basic things you can do. A lot of that irritation is really your body's defense against the irritants. And the smoke we're all breathing in is exactly that an irritant. Depending on your symptoms, there are some over-the-counter remedies that will bring you some relief. If your eyes are really irritated, you can buy over-the-counter saline or salt water drops. You know, they're not a medication, but they're just to lubricate uh, dry eyes. If you have a sore throat, you can use lozenges. Sinus issues can be helped with a rinse, like a neti pot or a squeeze bottle, also sold over-the-counter. And even gargling some of that kind of salt water solution can help your throat. And a nice hot cup of tea might also help a sore throat. Plus, we live in Colorado, which is dry anyway. So drinking a lot of water will help you feel better. It's really important to stay well hydrated, drink enough fluid, uh, and also maybe think about humidifying your homes. Of course, there are some times when you will need to seek medical attention, like if you have extreme trouble breathing or if you have a chronic respiratory condition and your prescribed medication isn't helping. Because there may be something more going on or they may need to escalate treatment. Now, another thing you could do is you can wear an N95 respiratory mask like this one. That'll keep the smoke particulates from getting in your airway, but it has to be a tight fitting one. A loose fitting one or just a cloth mask really won't do you much good. In Denver, Michael Aveta covering Colorado first.